What's up guys? We are here for the three-point contest. I finally got back to it. Well, I played all the way to it, so. There wasn't really anything... I mean, I could have recorded, but, you know, eh. I could have. right next to me, I've got somebody who knows a thing or two about winning this event. So tell us what it takes to do just that, Steve. Well, I did win the event once, Spark, in 97, and it really is a matter of finding a... What is with that thing on Arden's arm? What's going on? The shots are coming one after the other. You've got to get into a groove, get into a rhythm, and then just let it ride. Oh, what? So that was weird. <laughs> you saw that? Um, <laughs> like the heck? Alright, here we go. And then the two point money ball. The maximum score is 30 points, Kevin, but you've got to get into a really good rhythm right off the bat. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's usually pretty easy to tell right away whether a player has it going or not. It's all about establishing the rhythm early on and then keeping it going throughout the round. Am I right, Steve? Oh, yeah, for sure. If you get off to a slow start in this competition, Clark, you're in big trouble because the clock starts to tick. You start to panic a little bit. You start to rush. Uh, you really need to find that groove early, and then you can gain Not one money ball yet. Wow. But Thompson is really a dead-eye shooter like Kyle Corver, too. getting cold. Five consecutive misses. Hour six. One last rack remains. Oh, he finally got it. Only get it for the last one. Let's see. Is that Chris Paul? No, never mind. I'm about to say. One money ball. Oh boy. Alright, who's next? It's KD. Oh, they're doing it from top to bottom. Like from the row. I see it. I see it now. So, who's next after him? I think it's Wesley Matthews. Let's see if Durant gets a money ball. But my first time, I was extremely nervous, and I'm not afraid to admit that. Uh, but as I went on in later years, I got more and more comfortable with it. Now he's starting to struggle. He's just chucking him up. Could only get one shot to fall Jeez, come on, man. Get the money ball. And he's limping to the finish. He, no, he's rushing. Seriously. Look, he was rushing way too much. Look at that. Six? My gosh. Here comes yeah, Wesley, just straight, like I said. <laughs> there, Kevin. Like he had Next after him is, so I believe it's Harden. No, it's Curry. You know, West Matthews, Kevin, out of Marquette, had a really solid career there, but was undrafted. Then it's Harden, then really I'm last. Okay. I mean, Come on now. Pretty good shooter. I'm gonna, how am I going to have competition if they just keep shooting like this? Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. He's on a roll. Ooh. Cost us a Big Ten title back in 1980, and Wes Matthews was the culprit. He was the catalyst for knocking us off twice in those times. Two money balls. You're going strong. I think he could smash, um... Thompson's record if he ah uh, if he keeps the momentum. Last try, come on. Oh, oh, one more, come on, come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, the key was Kevin. He took six out of a possible ten points. All right, Curry, show us what you made of. You've got to take advantage of them. And so here's Curry. Look at the numbers through the first part of his career. There's a legitimate case that Steph Curry will go down as maybe the best shooter in the history of the NBA. And I know he's going out there with the mindset of just relax, have fun, and see what happens. Well, that's My a great way to approach it because really the shootout is, is all about fun. It's for the players, all right. The fans. Two money balls. Pressure on yourself for so whoever's most relaxed, I think, has the best chance. You got 10. Curry really catching fire. Oh, now. He's, he's about to smash <laughs> Wesley Matthews' record. Oh, there it is. One more, and he smashes it. He's in the quarterfinal quarterfinals. Come on. He's 
Come on. There you go. He's in. He's in for the quarterfinals. All right. This should be good. Harden to next. That's very good work. So it's James Harden ready to go. 11 points is the cutoff. That's not insurmountable, but that's the minimum he needs. It's a matter of him just knocking down a few of the money balls. Um, I don't think it'll take much else. Oh, I thought he had that last one. He needs eight points more to stay in contention. Now with four. You heard him, eight points, and he, if he doesn't score that, he's done. To stick around. Six. Can he hit it? Solid no, he there. cannot. Nope. Still no. Jeez, man. Finally. Three more points. Can he make it? He needs three more points. That's four misses in a row. Oh, good lord. I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh, I hold up one. Two. Ooh. Oh, almost three. Are we going to hit three? Oh, no. Nope. You're out. You could have done a lot better. Here we go. Here comes a champ from last year. Let's go. Six more and he advances. He seems to be rolling right now. That's his fifth consecutive make. Four more points to advance. Well, he's off to a decent start, guys. He's got ten. One more. Uh, I was advance. choking on that one. That ties him up for third here. He's tied for second. Second place. Hits for 15. He's got 16. Oh man. It's tied up. That shot puts him in first. Makes it to 19. And that's his fourth straight. He hits the 20 mark on the nose. His stroke looked terrific in that round, guys. Yeah, it was a terrific start. He was feeling it from the get go. Armstrong's got the top score in the qualifying round. With the strong group we have moving on to the finals, I'm expecting a very competitive last round. I'm with you on that. I mean, I'd be surprised if this doesn't go all the way down to the last rack. And so we'll see Wesley Matthews. And Wes Matthews often in the top ten in three-point shooting, Steve. Yeah, he shoots a very good percentage uh, for his career. And it's not something that was expected when he came out of Marquette. You know, Clark talked about it a little bit. He's just a guy who was uh, really self-made, particularly his jump shot. It's become a big weapon for him. Yeah, that's two racks in a row that he struggled with, guys. Three down. Four points. He's got his rhythm now. Wes Matthews locked in. He got three points off that rack. Not bad. Now with six. Seven points. He's got eight. Nearly perfect there. Just one miss on the rack. with 11 and 13 is the final score I'd say he handled that round pretty well guys. yeah even if he didn't set things completely on fire it's still all right fine. Mr. Curry you're what back you <laughs> round two well, all right here we go best, let's see if you can smash my score didn't have his best stuff and that's the sign of an excellent shooter there and so we'll see Stephen Curry go back to Curry what is crazy is that he puts up all that he does while being one of the few who can shoot off the dribble you know most other guys Clark at his level are, are catching shoot guys no, he's remarkable with his ability to shoot it off the bounce just a really pure stroke one of the purest in the history of the league in my opinion the minimum to tie it is 13 or 14 will give him the lead three more points will tie it now with 11 that gives him 12 one rack left will curry make it one more for the tie and for 13 that's a tie oh can he, he averages three points oh he got it with clutch all right I thought he had his stroke working. All right, I'm next. All right, here we what go. What do you think about that, Steve? 
Yeah, solid shooting. He looked very confident. You know, it never became one of those lights out rounds that it could have been. Uh, but all in all, I think he's got to be pretty happy. And here we go with Freak. He knows how many points it's going to take to be crowned the champion. Let's see if he can get it done. And over his career, just a superb long range marksman. He can win it all with a score of 16 or more. Come on. Come on. There you go. Eight more points and he'll tie things up. He's got eight. Nine points. Ah, choking. Points more to win. Up to ten now. Now with eleven. That gives him twelve. Four more points to win it. Gets the money ball. Come on. Come on. Now to fifteen. He averages three points. Oh man, I tied. That was a nice piece of shooting we saw from him out there. Yeah, it was adequate, absolutely. I mean, he really stayed with it, hung in there. Did I get second? I yeah, that's right. There were some moments when it looked like things might slip away from him, but uh, I thought he was really tough. He hung in there. Oh, shoot, round, round three. A decent number. The kill, the kill round. A nice long 60 seconds here in this tiebreaker. You want to get to his tiebreaker. Oh, shoot. Me versus Curry. Oh, my goodness. Who's going to win? I have to take my time here. It's just me and him. As long as I make more than one point, I'm good. That's it. Yeah. I just make more than one point. It's over. And here we go with Freak. Here we go. One point. Done. It's over. Three points. That's four in a row now. Can't get the money ball. He's got five. Now with six. That's the money ball. He closes out the round with eight points. And that puts an end to the Foot Locker three-point contest. There it is. Look at that. One. Look at that. What a commando performance. I don't get clutch name for a reason. I earn it. Hello. This is the reason. Yeah, to paraphrase Larry Bird way back. I got the twitch. He got he got the little twitch. He deserves all the credit in the world to come out on top against a field like that. That's sensation. And from all of us here at 2K Sports. What the cheese, man. Look at this. This is Kevin Harlan, along with Steve Curry and Clark Kellogg, saying so long and thanks for watching. All right. This is guys.